nothing should happen. So what you just saw is the inspiration for this video. I was out with a few friends, having a fun night, having a few drinks, and I noticed the drummer was doing a lot of crowd work. So a few times during the show, we kind of went back and forth and it ended up being a really fun show. So afterwards, I went to talk to the drummer and while we were talking, he showed me a trick of the trade. This is what he showed me. Now, not only was he nice enough to show me how to spin a drumstick, he also gave me his drumsticks, which is just so thoughtful. Thank you, Rob. I really appreciate it. So now, with the help of Rob's drumsticks, his insider information, and a lot of YouTube videos, even though I don't have any clue how to play the drums, I'm going to learn how to spin a drumstick, or at least try. Drumstick spin. How to. This looks hey like guys, it. Lizard Galax here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to spin a drumstick. This is probably the hardest one, but oh, also looks the coolest. What you need to do is start with the drumstick halfway between your two fingers, and the next step is to start rolling your wrist and let the drumstick loosely roll. That looks easy. Once you've got the hang of it, you can do it faster like that. It like moves down your fingers. Thanks guys for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye. Okay. Okay, it's not that easy. It's not as easy as I thought. Let's see if there's another video. Today we're gonna learn two each spins in a circle, just like this. And yeah. this is the first stick trick I ever learned. Um, and this one is a little bit more technical, but it looks really, really cool. So what you do, is you place the stick in between your pointer finger and your middle finger and you try to grip it at about one fourth of the way up the stick. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to initiate the spin by flicking your wrist forward and letting the stick come down and then you wanna get it to come back up and you're really just moving your index and middle finger back and forth like that to keep that momentum going. And this is a short lesson today, guys. As it comes down, this part's fine. And then as I come around, if I push it again with my middle finger, pull it around. That feels pretty good. It seems like my wrist is moving too much, though. It keeps hitting on my hand. So like, instead of coming around and coming past my hand, it's just coming around and I'm hitting it straight into my hand, which just isn't what I need to do at all. Yeah, I don't know. My fingers hurt and my forearm is killing me. So maybe that's enough for day one. Now at this point, I'm starting to get the main idea of spinning a drumstick. You put it in your hand, right around there-ish. And then you twist your fingers. And I kind of twist mine so my middle finger comes towards my palm. And then you grab the stick with your index finger and push it down. And as it's down, you kind of untwist your fingers so now the stick goes back towards the middle. And then you keep untwisting so now your, your index finger is kind of out a little bit. And then at this point, you just kind of reset back to center and then you repeat all those steps it's like five moves one two three four reset five five moves but the hard part isn't knowing the moves the, the moves are easy the hard part is doing them fast and then also doing them in the right order so there's really only one way to fix this and that's practice
Now at this point, I'm getting pretty confident. I can spin the drumstick. I don't have to move my fingers nearly as much. My hands aren't as sore because of that. My, my arm isn't sore at all, really. And because I'm not moving my fingers as much, this stick actually spins fast, which is nice. Now I just need to find a way to really show you that I learned it. I mean, this could work, but I think I found a better way. Now, I, I mean, I'm not one to brag, but I think that band was pretty cool, if I do say so myself. Now, as great as that was, I just, I don't think it's fair for me to call this challenge complete. I think there's only one person that can call this complete, and that's Rob the Drummer. Holy crap. Thank you. That's two hours of that. Oh, you got... Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Alehouse. Alehouse. Yes. 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 You brought your drum. You brought the drumsticks. I brought your drumsticks. Yeah. Wow. How cool is that? Because you taught me something that night. I did. And then I decided to go actually learn it. And yeah. I just. I want to hear it. I, well, I have to show you. Yep. Um. Because I don't. I don't really know if it's good enough. Yes. But it's, that's okay. Hey man, that's awesome. Yeah. Aim it right at me. Do it again. Yep. You got it. Is that it? Perfect. Show show them right there. Oh. And that's how I learned to spin a drumstick. Honestly, I, I had a great time learning this. It was it was a nice, easy-ish skill to learn. It, it's easy because you do it for like 10 minutes at a time. You're not sitting there for hours trying to do it um, because you can't. Your hands hurt, your arms hurt. Um, it's just, it's an easier skill to learn because it's so broken up, which is, which is nice. Now I don't have any tips and there's, you know, a lot of videos down in the description that'll teach you a lot more than I will, but there are a few things that I thought I should mention. First of all is search up videos on YouTube. Same as most of the skills that I learned. These ones, especially though, it's not the same video every time. You know, we have some of them. It's just like the different people saying the same thing. This one's very, very similar every time, but there's little unique differences. And so watching a bunch of videos, you might pick up on something that helps you learn it quicker. Um, I know there's one guy that he said to flick your wrist. That doesn't work for me, but it might work for you. So just watch a few different videos. Don't stick to one. Second is take a lot of breaks because, you know, it takes me like five minutes before my hands even now start to hurt. So in the beginning, it's a lot quicker. You're getting one, two minutes max and then you're sore and you're not using your time effectively at that point. So just try it until you can't and then forget about it for an hour and then go back. And then that way you're not burning yourself out and you're actually using your time effectively. And finally, just in case the videos down below don't do it for you, I'll give you a quick play by play of how I spin a drumstick. Cause like I said, everybody's a little bit different. Although I think mine's pretty typical. First off, I hold the drumstick about two thirds of the way down. I put all the way down as low as it can go on my fingers, but you can hold it up a little bit. I just find it not as steady, but try it out and see what works best for you. Now, First thing I do is push my middle finger forward. This pushes the stick towards me. Then I push down on my index finger, still towards me and down, and then I reset. So now it's back in the middle. My index finger is kind of out, and then I keep pushing my index finger out. Now it's up and away from me. And then I reset towards the middle, stick is up, and then I put my middle finger out again. Now it's towards me again. Now I push down with my index finger, and then you just continue the cycle. And now you're spinning your drumstick. Practice that, like I said, put it all the way down, all the way up, but overall, that's roughly what I do. And that is everything that I have. So thank you for watching. I hope you learned something you actually might have. More importantly, I hope you enjoyed, and it's been good to have you. I've been waiting for you such a long, long time. I wanna tell you how I feel. I wanna make you mine. Talk about love. Oh, oh. Hey, Dan. <laughs>